or some hint as to why he was doing this and what was going to happen next. And maybe I could somehow, some way get a message to my family or something. It was always very clear to me that I, to stay alive, that I needed to do what he told me to do. Um, and that's, that's how I survived for nine months. So I calmed down just enough to hear him say that I was now his wife. During that time, the national news media was following the course of the investigation into her disappearance each and every day, with very little leads to go on, and the prospect for her safe return diminishing with each hour that passed, her family never gave up hope. Elizabeth heroically testified before her captors and the world about the very private nightmare she suffered during her abduction, which led to the conviction of her captors. Through this traumatic experience, Elizabeth has become an advocate for change related to child abduction, recovery programs, and national legislation. She went on to found the Elizabeth Smart Foundation in 2011. Since its inception, the foundation has actively joined the fight against sexual violence. Elizabeth has recently released a new and powerful book about what it takes to overcome trauma, find the strength to move on, and reclaim one's life. Where There's Hope is the result of Elizabeth's mission. It is both an up-close and personal glimpse into her healing process and a heartfelt how-to guide for readers to make peace with the past and embrace the future. In Marquette, John Truitt, Local 3 News.